Hello, this is BBC Radio 1. I am Dr. Nicholas Grimshaw. My patient today, taking on the heart rate monitor challenge, is Nick Jonas. Hello. Hello, Doc. Hey, Pesh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so your heart rate now, Nick Jonas, is around like mid to late 60s. We're on a 67 right now. Yeah. It's very calm, it's very stable. Very calm. What we're going to do now is try and raise that heart rate, okay? Okay. First up, um, just to confirm, Nick Jonas, just my form, you've no idea what we're going to ask you or what we're going to show you. I have no idea what you're going to show me. No what idea at all. Ask me. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're just going to start with some quick questions on your health. Do you drink? I do. Do you smoke? I do sometimes. Do you think you're the hottest Jonas brother? I don't. Oh. No. That's actually incorrect. <laughs> um, do you enjoy the music of DNCE? I love the music of DNCE. Mm. Also incorrect. <laughs> um, okay. Um, we're on a 79. We're staying stable. Uh, now, Nick, we've known each other for quite a while now. Quite a while. I'm also friends with your brother, Joe Jonas. Yes. And okay. I can say things like, do you want to stitch up your brother? Yeah. Joe Jonas responds with, yes. Okay. So, I mean, he would know some stuff on you. He would know he some would. really know some good stuff on you. Does he have much dirt on you, do you think? Of anybody on this earth, do you he think? probably has the most. Let's find out what Joe Jonas had to say. Grimmy, Nick, I'm in Costa Rica right now, but I am really happy to help out with this stress test and hopefully keep Nick on his toes here. Nick, please tell a story about how a lady was referring to herself as mama, but you thought she was speaking about her mother. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, God. Um, oh, God, 81. Okay. 81. <laughs> okay, Thanks 94. for that, Joe. Um, <laughs> it was basically, you know, one of, one of my earlier sexual encounters. Okay. And she said something about, you know, come to mom or whatever it was. And I said, <laughs> why is your mother's here? <laughs> why is your mother here? Uh, uh, this naive young man, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's low now. Okay, Ooh. okay. Do you still see that lady? No. No. Uh, the, or her mother. Or her mom, no. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, gosh. we're going to try and do something now to increase your heart rate. It went pretty high then. It was up into, like, the late 90s. It, it was, was pretty good. It was, it was pretty good. And speaking of the 90s, maybe we can talk about something that was very important in your life from an early age. Someone that I know you're a big fan of as... Don't say am it. Am I? Don't say it. What? Are you going to say Shania Twain? No, not Shania. Oh. Uh, I got excited. No. Hit it. Seven things I hate about you. Yeah. Yeah. Seven things I hate about you. Good song. Weirdly lowering. <laughs> <laughs> He's flatlining, guys. <laughs> oh. Turn it off! Oh, God. Sorry. Okay, uh, Miley Cyrus there with yeah. Seven Things. Now, this song, widely considered to be about Nick Jonas. Yes, I have heard that rumor. And have I've... you heard that from the, the mouth the, of Miley the Cyrus? Has she been like, that's uh, about you? Never directly, but it, she's wearing the dog tag in this thing that, yes. I, that I gave her. Right. When, when I was 14 or something. So how did you feel when that came out? Were you like, I am 14. <laughs> how dare she? I was actually kind of flattered, to be honest. It's there forever. Yeah. And I know it's about me. Yeah. Next up, this video I really want to show you. Now, when I got this video recorded, I was shocked. Uh, really shocked, and it's nothing to do with me. Selena Gomez has been in touch, mm -hmm. and Selena Gomez has a video for you, and it's something to do... Well, let her explain. Hello, Nicholas. It is Selena Gomez. Don't need to say my full name with you, but it is. So, I know what you're doing, and I would like to... Re I would like to remind you of a time where we all went to Central Park together. Mm. It was uh, definitely over 10 years ago. I was wondering if that brought up anything for you. You know, Central Park was really beautiful. It was actually my first time. Um, maybe that says something? If not, I failed. Okay, heart rates. Heart, uh, rates, heart rates going up to 90. <laughs> my heart rate's quite high. <laughs> 
Okay, so this, this was uh, at a time when uh, my brothers and I were a boy band, um, and we uh, were in Central Park, and we were very private about our relationship, mm -hmm. and she was unhappy that her, her Central Park experience was ruined by the fact that I walked about 20 feet away from her. Even though they were taking pictures of us, and obviously we're there together, I was like, it'd be better if we stand about 25 feet apart. <laughs> Uh, so it ruined her Central Park experience. So her and Taylor Swift, who was dating my brother Joe, but we never confirmed it, walked uh, 25 feet behind us as we walked through the park by ourselves. Right. So that's the story. That's the story. Oh, I thought it was a very different angle that she was insinuating there. Which is, oh, no, no, no. I was no, no. like, wow. <laughs> wow. Well, that would have been something. That Disney been... kids gone wild. <laughs> uh, a lot of people from various research that you've had intimate relationships with. I've got one of them in the room, actually, right now. Let's welcome to the room your special surprise guest today, Dr. Jack Black! Hello, hello! Hello, Doctor! Hello. I believe you have the medical records in yeah, your bag. I've got the medical records here in my satchel. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh, there it goes. There it blows. So, Jack, you, blows. Uh, you've worked with Nick for months now. Yeah, we you know this guy. We've worked for, for nigh on a whole year now, if you count the beginning of Jumanji. Yes. Till now. True. So, I've gotten to know all the nooks and crannies. Oh, yeah? Of young not Nick all. Jonas. <laughs> well, not all. Not all. I'm sure there's some, some hidden flaps <laughs> that I haven't explored. Well, that's actually what we're here to explore right now. Do you have the full sets? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It really is. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> I'm here to, to make his heart rate rise. I can see it's down in the 80s now. Yes. Um, oh, whoop. Oh. Sorry, I just got a text it's from, from Amelia Clark, my buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, she's a huge fan of yours. Oh. Mm. She plays Khaleesi on Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. yeah we know her. Yeah, we and know. she's asking if you want to ride the dragon. Oh. <laughs> Tonight. Oh, wow. 65, oh. it went down wow. again. To the 60s. Wow, he's dying. Let me man. tell you something. My boy's got ice water in the veins. Uh -huh. His heart. De Whoa, it's going oh. up now. Oh. Delayed react. Oh. 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 Wow. The ride, the oh. dragon. He <laughs> <laughs> got a little ride of the red face. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Dr. Black is at it again, <laughs> mother. <laughs> Again, Amelia Clark did the trick. You're welcome. We've just reached Another a peak there. Solved. We've done it. Yes, we have done it. Jack Black, the Thank doctor, you. coming through there. <laughs> uh, Nick Jonas, you can breathe easy now. You can relax. Your heart rate monitor test is over. Okay, and you love God. Amelia Clark. Ah! Dude. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Great work. <laughs> that was funny. Hello tonight. <laughs> Hello, it's Nick Grimshaw here. I hope you enjoyed that. Do not forget you can listen to me on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show weekdays from 6.30 till 10 or any time that you want by downloading the BBC iPlayer radio app. And if you liked this video, hit subscribe and get more things like this. One.